We are of the cosmos. The universe is the size that it is. And, and we live in a sliver of it, and our view of the cosmos is just so narrow, so narrow. Dr. Bruce Ballack's mission is to widen our narrow view. From beginning to end, it's about basic research and trying to make sense of the universe in which we live. Ballack has been professor of astronomy at the University of Washington for 35 years. He's a true stargazer, a scientist working to unlock secrets millions of light years away. All of astronomy is devoted to making sense out of the things that we see, and so much of what we see in the sky isn't predicted or replicated here on the surface of the planet. That's why tools such as the Hubble Space Telescope are so critical. Dr. Ballack worked for 12 years to help design the Hubble's newest camera. And the camera's just been a, just a screaming success. It, it went up in May 2009. I was here. Booster ignition and liftoff. And right from the very outset, that camera began returning brand new science. It had a suite of filters that, that extended its scientific range. Instead of just working in the visible part of the spectrum, which we see, it also works in the infrared and the ultraviolet. And these were largely new frontiers for Hubble. An especially memorable image was the one known as Hubble Deep Field. Astronomers pointed the telescope at a dark, seemingly empty spot in the far reaches of outer space. And we aimed Hubble and exposed for four straight days. The light just barely trickled in. And when the image came out, we had peered further into the universe than we had ever done before. We peered about 10 billion light years from here. The image was stunning. Thousands of ancient galaxies. For the first time, seeing the universe just as it evolves out of infancy. Dr. Ballack has been an official observer of Hubble photos for two decades. Exciting work, but also a job that comes with inescapable gravity. I am just like anybody else. I sit there with my mouth agape saying, this is just absolutely bizarre, it's wonderful. The difference between me and many of the other people who see these images is that 10 seconds later reality hits and I realize I'm responsible to figure out what's going on in these images. I mean that's, the Hubble isn't there just to take pretty pictures, it's there to probe the way in which the universe behaves. No doubt astronomers of yesteryear would have been amazed by these photos. The first observatory was built at UW way back in 1895. There have been astronomers at the University of Washington since the very beginning. The Department of Astronomy was officially created in the College of Arts and Sciences in 1965. The program is now recognized nationally for its outstanding resources and faculty. The department here is very much research oriented, so they, they love to throw research at undergrads and have them get their hands dirty with it. We're a research university loaded with opportunities for every student one place or another, our students should be engaging in scholarship or research before they leave. It's exciting. It's what propels you forward into graduate school. I go to the observatory uh, on North Campus, the old observatory, and I do outreach there for general public. Thomas Gomez and other undergrads are responsible for hosting the public shows at the old observatory. Bellick says it's important that a taxpayer-funded institution gives back. And it's all so part of community building, right? The, the, the networking, the, the, the reaching out, which is such an important part of what any good university has to do. It is a mystical and humbling experience to gaze skyward and wonder, to marvel at the enormity of it all. Bruce Ballack describes recent decades as a renaissance period of sorts, where human knowledge is expanding faster than the universe after the Big Bang and he is thrilled his research helps us look up, ponder, and understand. This is really a wonderful time. And for me to be, have been here at the university through 35 years of this golden age has, has been a privilege. That's the nature of science, right? There is, there is no end to the learning.